cooking. And I picked up some stuff, quite a bit of stuff actually. So, uh, let's start with the first purchase. The second purchase. Actually, I'm just going to knock out my whole bag here off the camera. Okay. Rowan. Um, yeah, and there's just an advertisement for I am your father's day, which is father's day. <laughs> Rowan, stop laughing. Um, and then they gave me a Lego Star Wars, a visual dictionary update and expanded bookmark, which is really cool because I'm, I pre-ordered the book itself, so that's awesome. And then the advertisement for the deals that I was able to take advantage of, or some of which I took advantage of. The sales, like discounted Lego Star Wars sets and stuff weren't that, weren't anything that pertained to me really. Either not a great deal or just something I already had. And then this awesome poster, which I just unfolded. Actually, hold on. Let me show you the part that you see when it's all folded up. Yep. Um, there we go. Just unfolded it there. And uh, there you can see the poster looking really awesome there with Luke and Vader on it. Like awesomeness. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then the other free thing I got, because I spent over $75 on Lego Star Wars stuff, was Darth Revan! Oh! Uh, he looks super awesome. Check it out. Um, he is set number 5002123. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, he's super awesome. It's, what? I would call it a set. Well, he has a set number. He's a poly bag. So technically he is a set. Anyway, uh, so let's get on to the Lego Star Wars sets that I bought um, to get over $75. First, uh, I bought a micro fighter, the Millennium Falcon 75030. 10 bucks. Uh, looks pretty cool. Has the nice little printed astromech droid head there. R5 astromech droid style head. Next set I picked up was... 75040 General Grievous's wheel bike. 25 bucks looks super epic. Um there is uh the back of the box as well. And the biggest set I got was <coughs> excuse me. Um that's 75046, the Corsac police gunship. Um let me just zoom in on that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, there was a slight interruption, but uh, got the Corsant Police gunship. This looks super awesome. It was uh, fifty bucks, and uh, yeah, looking really cool here. There's the back. Lots of cool features, minifigs, and the whole thing just looks super awesome in general. So uh, definitely can't wait to build all of these. And there's some good news about uh, when I'm about when I build all of these. Uh, Coming later in the video, let me just put Darth Revan back there next to the Falcon, and then uh, let me see here that there. Whoopsie. Um, just put all my freebies there. They gave me a Lego Club magazine, but since I already had the new one, I gave it to Rowan because uh, he wanted it. So yeah, and then finally, afterwards, I had some VIP points and such. So, I got three of the Lego Minifigures The Simpsons series uh, packs. These are just super awesome minifigures. Uh, I know which ones are in these, but yep. Um, oh no, we're one lost something. No, didn't. Okay, good. Uh, these look really awesome. I'm not going to say which ones these are, but they'll be opened in a video. Um... So, actually, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do a live stream for building this stuff. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do a live stream for building this stuff at some point. Um, I don't know when it'll when I'm going to schedule it for, but I'm going to schedule it and on your subscription thing. Once it's scheduled, it will say Minifig Man Cave is scheduled a live event or live stream. So, yeah. So that's going to do it for this. Uh. 
use May the 4th Lego haul. Thanks for watching, and I will see you uh, when I start building this stuff, I guess.